RTI, that's uh, Research Triangle Institute, a very important organization that helps support the CDC and a number of governmental agencies as well as others, has hired many industrial engineers and operations research uh, scientists over the years, many PhDs as well. Um, and uh, I also learned that Dr. Earnshaw was recently working on a project that has to do with the collection of platelets and blood platelets that, that some of you may donate, which are also critical to many different patients, including patients with sepsis. And so uh, she and her team were able to determine that one of the technologies would allow us to collect many more platelets and use them for much longer and without losing really uh, much terms of quality. And so her work and her team's work is directly impacting the lives of patients in, in hospitals and people needing treatment. That's just one of the reasons um, that uh, Dr. Earnshaw is, uh, that we're recognizing her today as a distinguished alum. Uh, I invite you now to, to join me in congratulating Dr. Earnshaw, who will uh, come up to the stage and make a few remarks. Very surprised. Um, just very honored and uh, humbled for this award. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the board and uh, really all the faculty within this department. As Dr. Swan mentioned, this department really is an outstanding department. Um, I came here to NC State to get my master's and PhD many, many years ago. May not look like it, but I did color my hair. <laughs> so um, I came um, from a little town down the road. Maybe some of you know of it. It's called Chapel Hill. <laughs> I was a proud Tar Heel. Um, and at the time when I came here, um, UNC and State were a big rivalries. Um, so you can imagine me, just graduated undergraduate, um, came here. And a lot of the, my fellow students gave me a hard time my home. And in fact, you know, I don't think Carolina won a single basketball game or football game the two years I was here getting her master's. So kind of embarrassing. But um, that just meant I just needed to study more. So um, you know, I had the honor to um, work with um, a variety of different professors. I would uh, and work with Dr. Ala Salamagrabi, um, Sala Salamagrabi, and Dr. Gaya Fati. Amazing professors, amazing teachers. Not only did they teach me the ins and outs of mathematical programming, they taught me that with hard work and determination, you can achieve anything. This is something I try to instill in my kids. Um, they also taught me to ask questions, and I am a big, big question asker. Um, they told me that, you know, no matter if you don't understand and if you think the question is stupid, ask it anyway, because more than likely the person who's sitting right next to you has that same exact stupid question. So be brave, ask the question, because um, they will be thankful that you asked it so that they know what the issue is too. Um, but not only did I get to learn a lot from Dr. Alma Grabby and Dr. Foddy, um, there's Dr. Wilson. Dr. Bernhard and Dr. Steve Roberts, um, all of great influence. Um, when I talk to people about my education here at NC State, I tell them that not only did I get a good education, but NC State taught me how to apply the concepts and the theories. And this is something that's actually quite unique, believe it or not. Um, I was talking to one of my fellow um, math buddies from Carolina the other day. He actually went on to get his master's and PhD at another university. Uh, and he told me he was quite jealous and he was kind of, you know, disappointed that he did not choose to go get his master's and PhD at NC State. Because he could see that I got a great education. But more importantly, I was able to apply those concepts to real world problems, not only in my classes, but also through my assistantships. Um, this is something he did not get, and he actually went to the number one industrial engineering school in the nation at the time. So you can actually be very, very proud. That says a lot for this department. Um, through the years while I was working on my master's and PhD, I often wondered, okay, what am I going to do career-wise? And my father was a college professor, so I always thought, well, I'll think down, maybe I'll be a college professor. But the only 
issue with being a college professor is that they have to do research. And uh, research wasn't my thing. Um, but you know, it's funny how life um, deals your cards out to you because you know what I do? I do research. <laughs> and I uh, work for the organization RTI International, and what are they known for? Research. <laughs> so, um, but I'm fortunate, fortunate enough to work with the organization RTI Health Solutions, which is a small division within RTI International. And we support the pharmaceutical, medical device, uh, biotech companies in getting their products to market. So what we do is very applied. Uh, and I tell people when they ask me what I do, I get to solve puzzles every day and using the tools that I learned from NC State in my program. And not very many people can say that. So how cool is that? Um, I, the field I entered into is called Health Economics and Outcomes Research, and at the time it was a very young field, that was over 20 years ago, um, but they were quick to adopt decision analysis techniques, um, and oftentimes when I was working on problems it felt like only my, my supervisor and I were using these techniques to solve these healthcare problems. Um, the fact that we were is um, decision analysis tools in healthcare was pretty young, and I remember going to one of my first informs conferences, and I went to the health applications uh, section meeting, and I met up with five other people. So you can see anybody familiar with informs in the health application section, it's grown dramatically. Um, well, while at RTI, I um, had the complete honor to work on a lot of interesting projects. Um, the great thing about RTI is that they push the limits of research, they encourage uh, new ideas, they encourage uh, innovation, they encourage publication and presentation. And so I've, been, I've had the opportunity to work on a lot of interesting healthcare pro projects with not only the manufacturers, uh, but also payers, physicians, and other healthcare stakeholders. So it's been, it's been a great journey for me. Um, since I graduated, uh, it has actually been absolutely fabulous to see this um, program, this department transform itself into one of the premier uh, departments for training students in um, applying decision analysis tools to healthcare problems. Um, <coughs> It, it's it's not only one probably the, the top program in the nation, but it's probably one of the top programs in the world. Um, these students, students are coming out of school, you have the exact tools and the training you need to enter the, the health economics and outcomes research space. Um, I'd like to thank Dr. Heidi. I don't know if she's here. Dr. Mayorga, she's here, and Dr. Swan. Um, for designing a curriculum that you know trains these students and allows them to hit the ground running when they enter space and they can enter into any career, any career in healthcare. We've come a long way with applying these methods to the, the area of healthcare, um, and we should all be proud. Um, and lastly, I'd like to thank my husband David. He has um, he knows me. Um, Sorry. <laughs> he knows how long uh, I work. I work all the time. And he's been there by my side the whole time. So thank you, David. <laughs> thank you again for this opportunity. Thank you. This is a tremendous award. I'm completely honored. And most importantly, um, thank you for including me in the past. So, go back.